Welcome to the Driving Podcast, where we talk about all things farming, while you get to enjoy the views of one of our driving horses. Today we're going to be talking about manure management on a hobby farm. It's going to be turning waste into a wonderful resource. All right, so manure is probably not the most glamorous topic, but it's an essential one for any hobby farmer. It's going to create a healthy, sustainable environment for both animals and your crops. It's going to turn waste into a resource like organic fertilizer and compost, transforming waste into a valuable resource, which can be used not only on your own farm, but something you can sell as well. First up, properly handling animal waste reduces odors, keeps pests at bay, reduces parasite load, and ensures that your farm remains a welcoming place for both people and animals. Plus, with the right techniques, you can turn manure into an organic fertilizer. This is great for your garden or for resale. It's like nature's recycling program. You are gonna have to first understand um, the composition rates of different manure produced by different animals. Not every single one is gonna have the same nutrient, moisture content, and decomposition rates. So you're gonna need to do a little bit of research. For example, chicken manure, that's considered a hot manure. It's really, really high in nutrient levels of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and is great for rapid plant growth. However, goat manure, while lower in nutrients, is not gonna burn your plants. So you can put it directly on without having to do much with it first. Love it or hate it, you're gonna have to muck and collect manure. So it's essential for keeping your farm nice and clean and healthy. You're gonna wanna use the right tools, you know, grab yourself a fork, a shovel, rake, depending on your animal, sometimes a, a broom if you're picking up goat beans. Collect all that and put it in a convenient spot for you and away from water sources. You don't want contamination, yay dysentery. Keep in mind in the winter months, you're gonna wanna get to this also so make sure wherever you put this that you can plow or snow blow to it easy and it is something that you can get to when there's like two feet of snow on the ground otherwise your barn's gonna be nasty now we're on to composting composting is that magical process that turns manure into brown gold it's an organic fertilizer and it's great for your garden keep your compost pile a balanced mix of manure and carbon rich materials, kind of like straw or plant leaves or something along those lines. Bedding that is wood based is not ideal, but can be used as well. Believe it or not, you're gonna wanna mix in some natural native soil to your compost pile to get it started. That's gonna add the microbacterial organisms that actually do the composting project for you. Turn it regularly. Adding air into your compost pile is gonna speed up the process. A lot of times if you turn it over, you should have nice heat. It should be about 165 degrees or higher in there. It's going to kill all the nasties. It's going to kill your seeds. It's going to kill the bugs. It's going to kill it all. Aeration is what speeds up the process. Depending on how well you manage a compost pile, you can have it ready to use within as little as a month. But on average, most of us looking at about six months to a year for a compost pile. And you're going to turn it about three to four times in that year. Compost, when it's ready, is not going to smell. It's going to be nice, earthy. It's going to be rich in nutrients, and you're just, it looks literally like brown gold. Package it. I like to put it in a little five pound burlap sack and sell it to potting plant people. That's a lot of peas. When it's time to apply the compost, do so evenly. Kind of like a nice smooth layer, especially if you're going to put it on like a hay field. Nice, even spread. You don't want to over fertilize. Best time to do it is in the spring just as everything's starting to grow. So that's it, manure management. It's a chore, a process that both benefits you and the ecosystem. By embracing the power of composting, you're gonna transform your waste into a resource that promotes the well-being of your animals, crops, and environment. Until next time, happy farming.